Hi again, everybody. I'm Anne from Bricks for Kids, and today we're gonna build a Ferris wheel. So with this build, again, uh, we will need a base plate, but if you don't have one, it's okay. So we're gonna move on to our first step. We'll need just one by six, just a one piece of one by six, and we're gonna put it on one, two, three, four, five here on the fifth one, but you could place it whenever, wherever you want. So next step, we'll need a one by four, just one piece, and a one by four tech plate. And we're just gonna stack them up like so. So one up hanging on each end, and one by four on top like this. So it looks like that. We have your one by six, one by four tech brick, and one by four tech plate. Again, you can choose whatever color that you have. Next step, We'll need another um, tech plate, one by four, and a tech brick, one by four. Picking up our tech plate, we'll put it on top, and then stack up our one by four, like so. Moving on to step number four, we just need two tech pin friction. So that's one. And here's the second um, tech pin friction. So I'm gonna switch our base plate. So we're gonna put our tech pin where there's more space in it. So we're gonna clip it on like this. And then one at the bottom. Like that one. Now we'll just need to attach a one by 12. Align it into our tech pin like this and we'll just clip it on. You might need to hold this up so it doesn't fall over. Cause it's a bit tricky to, there you go. So it looks like this. Now next step, we'll need an axle number three, just one piece. And we need a gear bevel 12 tooth. So it looks like this. This is the tooth facing the camera and this is the back, looks like this. All right, so from our tech pin, the second tech pin, we'll place it on the fourth hole. One, two, three, four, like this. So I'm just gonna flip it around. So you are going to connect your um, gear bevel tooth near the uh, base plate where there's not enough space or little space. There you go. So it looks like that. And this side of the axle where there's a lot of space. Step number seven, we need just one piece of pulley. This one. That's one. And we need a tech pin non-friction. It's this one. This one's smooth compared to the friction tech pin. All right, so we're gonna flip it around because we need to attach it on this end. So we'll just need to adjust our axle. We'll push it in a little bit so we could attach our pulley. So our pulley has an axle hole right here in the middle. We'll just pop it in like so. And the um, non-friction tech pin, we'll just place it wherever we want. There you go. And we'll try to do it manually if it's working. So as you can remember, if we were building a Ferris wheel, the Ferris wheel rotates on a central axis. So this will be our central axis right here. So moving on, we're gonna do step number eight. We just need one piece of tech plate, a two by eight tech plate, and a one piece of the gear tooth. So now we're gonna flip our base like so. And in your gear 40 tooth, you could actually see an um, axle hole in the middle. We're just gonna align it to our axle number three. So we're gonna slide it in like so. You can test it again manually if it's moving, if it's working, and if all the gears are connected. And we're gonna pick up our base plate and we're gonna put it in the middle. There you go. So it looks like that. You could test it again. If it's sticking in, there you go. Now step number nine, again, my favorite, because we're building seats for our Lego mans. So we need 
two one by two tech brick. So this is one, two, and we need two seats for a Lego man. So this is one, two. Now we need a tech brick, one by two, but this time with an axle hole in the middle. Yeah. And we need two pieces of the two by two round brick. Looks like this, looks like this in the bottom. And we need four one by four plates. And lastly, we just need two pieces of the tech pin nonfiction. So we're gonna assemble these. So first and foremost, we'll pair up our tech plates like so. And we're gonna try and clip using our two by two round brick, and we'll do the same on the other plate. So it's the second piece. And now we are going to place our seat like that, and the second one. There you go. So we'll just have that space in between, like that. After we've done these, we'll just need to put the one by two, the one with the axle hole, on top of our round brick. So we'll put it on the edge, like so, like this, with the, just a normal one. And we're gonna put it on top, like this. Looks like this. So axle hole, and just a normal one. And we're gonna pick up our tech pin, and we're, we're gonna clip it through. So that happens, we'll just be really delicate. And try and hold it, like this, so we could clip it. There you go. Looks like this. And we're gonna do the same with our other seat. So these are our seats. And we're going to attach them on the edge. That. There you go. And this is our Ferris wheel. Did you guys know the Ferris wheel was invented over a century ago? It was invented as an attraction in 1893 for World Expo in Chicago, Illinois. So it was named after its inventor, George Washington Gale Ferris Jr. So today we're going to discuss two laws that are at work on a Ferris wheel. So one law is the law of inertia. Once the Ferris wheel gets moving, I'm gonna show you how to do it like this. So that law explains that it will keep moving unless another force acts on it. So the second law of momentum states that the bigger and heavier the object, the more force you must use to get it moving. So like for example, in our build, if you want to attach your motor and a battery to this, or try experiment a little bit more and, and put weight on your seat or put weight on your build, try and see if you could experiment law of momentum. So can you guys tell me how this Ferris wheel work? So the basic idea is that the Ferris wheel are large structures that rotate on a central axis. So because we have a tiny build, this is our central axis. So if I try to manually rotate it, you could see the central axis. So usually when the Ferris wheel spins upwards with the help of gears, right here, like so, these are the gears. So it helps it move it or spin it. And then the gravity pulls the wheel back down again and the cycle just continues. 